Jesus. You can hear it trying to read the disc. And there you go. So I'm going to show you how to take the Wii apart and replace the drive. Okay, to perform this repair there's a few basic tools you're going to need. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. That's a double zero. So that's one of the smaller ones. Uh, hang on a sec here. A double zero Phillips screwdriver, a number zero Phillips screwdriver, the tri wing screwdriver that uh, Nintendo uses for their screws, some of their screws. This they are available for under five dollars on Amazon or on DealExtreme.com. A flat blade screwdriver. You could also use a small utility knife, and of course you need the drive that you're going to be replacing. Uh, they're about uh, 35 bucks, 40 bucks roughly. Uh, you can get them a little cheaper at some places. Available at Amazon, eBay, uh, DealExtreme.com is where I bought it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this flap off. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull it, open it and pull it closer to yourself. What to do with a camera in your hand. There you go. That's how you start. Repeat that with this flap here. Okay, you need to remove these three Phillips screws with your number zero zero screwdriver. This is the one at the front of the Wii. This one is a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna and then take this tray off. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take them off and then I will replace the screws back into the spot so I know where they belong. So I've taken this tray off and I've put the three screws back in so that uh, these I know where Phillips, they belong later. These two tri wings and then I will just place them over here so that I know in comparison to the black cover where they go as well. So that's what I'll do now. I have now flipped my Wii over. I'm now going to take my 00 screwdriver to take this screw out and now I can take out this battery compartment. There you go. That will expose the tri wing screw right there. There you go. You've got a tri wing here, a tri wing there, a Phillips there, a Phillips there, and a smaller Phillips there. So remove those and then Place them somewhere where you'll remember what order they're in. There they are. There's my four screws that I took out. I placed them in that order there. So there you see they're missing. I'm going to lay my Wii flat. I've got two more pads to take out. Not the pads, sorry, the more plastic covers. There's this one up here and this one here. Okay, so now I've taken these two covers off. And there's some tri-wings under there, some small black tri-wings. So just use your tri-wing screwdriver and uh, remove these. Now you can remove this front cover and undo the cable. Don't yank too hard because there's going to be a cable in here. There you go. There, you're going to want to undo that cable right here. Once again, I can't do this while holding a camera, so I'm going to do it and then just continue the video. All right, your last two tri wings are on the bottom, on the back of the Wii. Take away those little rubber pads for the feet, and then you'll see the two holes in there. So remove those, and then you're going to take the front piece off, and then you can take it apart. All right, so here you can see that the Wii cases are coming apart. So. There you go. Off it comes. And we should be able to take this one off too, unless I missed a screw. Nope, there we go, that was just a little tight. There. 
All right, and that now is exposed to your DVD drive. So now what we can do is we can take the DVD drive off and replace it. So there's a screw in here, a screw in there, and one here and one there. Those are the, f oops, sorry, there, 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 and there. Those are the four that we have to remove. After you've removed them, be careful when you lift out. There's going to be two ribbons under there. Lift it up carefully, and there's going to be two ribbons under here. That white one in the back with the uh, black tape around it is normally tucked in under here. So this one here just flips up like this. And then the ribbon comes out. The other one, I just, with my thumb, walk each side off a little bit. And then it comes off. Don't just yank on the cord. So now I've got this off. If the drive that you bought to replace it does not have these rubber pieces on there, transfer them over. Uh, this one here does not have them on there, so I'm going to have to transfer them over. So I've tucked the white uh, ribbon back underneath there, and that one's on, so now I'm going to place my drive down here. There we go. Now before I do anything else, before I button this up, and I'm going to put some power on, I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to test to make sure it works. Okay. Here we go, I'm going to put the disc in. Disc pulls in. Powers up. Appears to work, let's try it. Okay, let's start with these screws. Now, uh, if you haven't seen my video on replacing these uh, screws in the plastic socket holes, watch it. I'll put a link on there because ultimately you will break these if uh, you put these screws back in incorrectly. So. Put this cover back on. I've actually never had it come off before. Usually it sticks to the plastic cover. So that's the one I'm going to put on now. Okay, so I got it closed. So I'm going to start with just having a quick inspection to make sure everything looks okay. Okay, and I'm now going to start with these two in the back and then uh, I will uh, yeah I'm gonna start with these two in the back here so I've put the back two on and put the feet on I turn it around and I'm gonna put the front cover on don't forget to reconnect the little lead there now I'm going to go and uh, Take my screws here, which I placed in the order, and I'm going to replace those two and these two down, those two and those two down here, and then I'm going to put the black cover back on. Now I'm going to do these tri wings and then put the little covers back on. We are almost done, so we're going to replace that screw, put the battery cover back in, and then do these last four screws. And then we just got to put the plastic cover on. There. The only thing that's left is to play some video games. Thanks for watching, and I hope with this video you're able to fix your Wii.